And welcome to Let's Fly VFO. We're off to the Sedona Airport, KSEZ, located about four and a half thousand feet in the valleys in Arizona. Thought I'd look for a, something that was a little bit different as far as airports go. This airport is actually on a plateau, which I thought would be a little bit interesting. So if you want to really want to challenge yourself, come find this one. This is all default scenery. It's very well done. And we're out here in the Lank Air FG fixed gear. Uh, also a lot of fun to fly in VR. Really enjoying this. So we're down here on base leg. And uh, we'll just do a couple of circuits. Have a bit of a fly around. But the scenery here is fantastic. Again in, in VR with the, the depth. You can fly out around some of those uh, hills out there ducked around a few of those we got a little bit of low level flying and a, uh, a bit of a bridge undertake shall we say coming up uh, towards the end of the show so let's uh, get this settled down this aircraft is uh, a bit of a handful especially at altitude now you've got to think of density altitudes as well guys when we're already at four and a half thousand feet and then if you happen to have some uh, fairly warm weather density altitude also increases so that makes uh, handing a little bit trickier just got to be a little bit cautious as we turn here on the final and this just sticks up out of the uh, the surrounding terrain it looks really really good so let's uh, get lined up here now if you've got VR and you haven't found out it's something as simple as zooming in and out uh, I've noticed that I can use the period and the dot key or the full stop key to zoom in a little closer which I've found uh, a lot lot better instead of sitting back away where I was so here we go nose up and around we go again let's head on out now they've got plenty of trees I'm getting a good solid 40 fps as we go around the circuit let's try another approach just trying to get these nailed um i was a little bit all over the place and this has quite a uh, rise in the middle this uh, runway so it comes up to meet you as you come in which is a little daunting now most often airports that we fly into are relatively flat sometimes they um they slope away from you a little bit but you know, this one slopes up and then down at either end Plenty of scenery, plenty of hangars over there to go and park at. Lots to look at. So feel free to come in and have a bit of a wander around this great little airport. Now, if you're looking for interesting places to go flying, you might duck over to uh, flightlock.com. This is a new website that I made mention of in the last video. And they have lots and lots of interesting places you can go flying. If you're getting a little bit uh, bored or you want to go somewhere new, go and have a look at the website and see if you can find somewhere different. There's some great scenery places and there's also airports. And you can also add your own airports if you know of a local airport or an airport you've visited, which looks particularly fantastic in the sims. So, yeah, feel free to um, help them update. Give them reasons why they're great as we had a little bit do a bit of low level flying here the water still doesn't look fantastic in x-plane but uh, as has been hinted we have a big scenery upgrade especially with uh, what we've seen of uh, fsx 2020 or microsoft flight sim 2020 coming up towards maybe the end of the year or possibly early next year we need an upgrade don't we and i think that is uh, on the, in the works according to austin he did mention 11.7 or something like that we might see it because they had to do the vulcan first so we might see a really good uh, update with all their scenery in the not too distant future so there's that uh, little bridge what do you reckon we you reckon get underneath it i reckon it's worth a shot so we'll just fly out and then we'll turn around and then we'll come back in and see if we can squeeze underneath it in one, 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 one go. See, you get the, the stall warning there. 
because I'm turning too tightly and with the altitude and the speed all comes together to make things a little bit more dangerous when you're flying at higher altitudes and now you do this sort of flying and you think no it's just like being at sea level but it will bring you down it will catch you if you're not careful guys so line up straight in underneath yes we made it through just a little bit of space and no it didn't flow through any of the scenery as you can see so let's pop in and uh, put this bird down one more time Now I found some new tools as well uh, on another website that are really helping to make the VR experience a lot better. So if you have a video on those very soon, so if you're flying in VR and you're looking to be able to tune while you're in the aircraft without having to leave to do anything, then we uh, there's some really good tools that I've just found off another young bloke who's got a new website out there as well. So there we are, we've landed. Let's get back in and uh, put this bird away. This would be a really challenging aircraft uh, with a bit of cloud and stuff around, guys. So maybe you should uh, look at adding some cloud, add some weather, and see how scary it is coming in when you can't see the end of the runway. So we'll continue to taxi back down. Do we find somewhere comfortable to park and the buildings look great a bit of traffic around here as well we have some uh, Cessnas and other light aircraft there's a whole bunch of other ones at the other end as well inside hangars so uh, feel free to uh, search around and discover what's here at Sedona VR's looking really smooth too. You, you might notice it's not dragging in at the uh, sides of the picture as well at the moment, which is something I was having a little trouble with. With these new tools that I've got together, uh, I will be sharing with you in a very s a future video. Not too long away as we taxi in and we get uh, a great view from up here at the tower. As you can see the mountains in the background and we put the land care away and you highly recommend coming out and visit some of these different airports you, know, you can search for them you'll find all sorts of really great and uh, unusual locations around the world this one i actually remember from um, another a channel that's on the uh, internet it's the 101 so again, subscribe, like, and if you enjoyed, please come back and view more videos. Check out letsflyvfr.com if you're looking for any information or some new toys to expand your sim. See you next time. Bye-bye.